Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, hi I'm Madeline and I'm so happy that you're here today. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I am getting ready for my boyfriend Ian and I's three year anniversary which is just crazy to me. It feels like three years has gone by so fast but at the same time it feels like we've literally been together for like 20 years. It's so weird. But I am just going to get ready. We're going on a date tonight. I really don't know where we're going. Well, I'm going to start the makeup and then I'll talk to you guys. For primer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So like I was saying, uh, we don't know where we're going to dinner now because we had a place planned down in Cincinnati because we're kind of from around the tri-state area-ish. Um, we had a restaurant down in Cincinnati and it's closed on Mondays. Which I think is weird. I only know of one other restaurant that closes on Mondays. I think I have another idea that's a little more local than driving down to Cincinnati. So um, Ian's actually like in class or something. So I don't know what he thinks about it, but that's probably where we'll end up going just because I don't know where else to go eat. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This is one of my favorites. I'm in the shade 280. This shade is actually not matching me too well right now. It doesn't match the actual color of my face. It matches my body. As you can see, two different colors right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. All right, so I look crazy right now. This lighting, I don't know what it is about when I use my vanity lights. My camera does not like them. I don't really know what to talk about while I'm doing this. Oh, my concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am in the shade 27 B Light to Medium Beige. But, um, yeah, I guess I should have done like a Q&A or something while I get ready. Because I really don't know what to talk about. I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm using a Real Techniques. It's like a, a tie-dye sponge. I thought it was so pretty. I'm just gonna blend all this out. Also, my hair is not gonna look like this tonight. I just pulled it up for the purpose of doing my makeup. So, sorry that I look crazy today. Um, I'm going to do my hair and stuff off camera just because I'm just curling it and putting my extensions in. Extensions are hanging up back there. I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of peeking out. But I haven't worn my extensions in like a year and a half. I purple shampooed them over Christmas break with the intentions of wearing them and just never did. And I came home this weekend and was getting ready for the musical and I was like let's just see what they look like like maybe they'll look good oh my goodness they matched my hair perfectly um I'm gonna be using this airspun loose face powder I want to find another powder to use but I guess this one's really cheap so maybe I shouldn't I don't know it um oh way too much um sometimes if I will like bake with my like beauty blender and just leave it on for a little bit it makes my concealer like under my eyes and stuff super cracky and i don't know is cracky even a word i'm not sure it'll get super like cracked and cakey under my eyes sometimes it does it anyways but especially when i leave it on there i don't even like really bake for very long. I don't know if I just need to find a new powder or if it's just how my skin is. I don't know. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna comb them with this little elf spoolie brush. I low-key need my eyebrows done but I did not have time to go up to Christina this weekend. I use the Anastasia dip brow pomade in the shade blonde. We're just gonna fill them in a little bit. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. It's been very well used, very loved. I don't want this to be like a tutorial, so I'm not really gonna 
explain what I'm doing. I just kind of wanted to talk and get ready. using the Maybelline Master Precise All Day. Ian's calling me. Hello? Hey. Uh, I just I just saw your text and they called me. Sorry. Um. Okay. I just got off the phone with Ian. Sorry. We were trying to figure out dinner, what we're doing, whatever. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid All Day Eyeliner. I think is what it's called. In the shade Black. I'm just gonna be doing a line of eyeliner. I'm not doing like a wing or anything fancy. We're gonna get some bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers and for some reason I left it at my house and didn't bring it to school, but it's the brand Sugar. It's contour mini bronzer in the shade O2 Woody Wonder. And then I'm using this Farah Contour 218M brush. Per usual, no one is shocked at all. For blush, I brought my Kylie blush in the shade Close to Perfect. I absolutely love this blush. I like to go for a more, sorry, I like to go for a more natural look. So this blush is perfect for me because it's not super super pink it's pretty neutral and I just kind of put that everywhere for highlight I brought home my Kylie highlighter in the shade clean drip this highlighter is all right um champagne pop is probably my number one girl but it's a pretty good highlighter I'm not super super into highlighter anymore for setting spray, I'm using this e.l.f. setting spray. Um, I'm going to be applying a thin line, or thin line, thin layer of mascara with this Wonder Beauty Mile High Club mascara because we are going to be putting on some lashes today. I'm very excited. And the lashes I brought, I have no idea what brand they are. I think they're the Ari Shine lashes. They're magnetic. And I brought them, but I brought them not in their box. So it comes with a little, this doesn't have the brand on it either, um, with like a magnetic eyeliner. And you just apply it like eyeliner. It's so easy. Magnetic lashes are seriously the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry for a hot minute. While we're waiting on this to dry, we're gonna put on lipstick actually. I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I bought this mini kit at Sephora. Um, I low key have buyer's remorse, but I already did it, so I can't return it. These two things together was the same price as just buying the full size lipstick. I don't really use lip liners, so I didn't really need this. And this is the little mini lipstick. Honestly, the mini was probably not a bad idea because I never use a full tube of lipstick anyways. I really like this lipstick, so maybe if I do end up using up the whole thing, I will buy the full size. It's just such a pretty natural pink color, and that is really what I wear for all my lips. So we're going to use these lashes that aren't trimmed because I feel like they're going to fit better and you just pop them on your eye. And there we go, so easy. But this is the finished makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and change my outfit and finish getting ready and then I will show you guys the finished look. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. My extensions 
are the Halo Couture 24 inch extensions. I don't know how good you can see them. They're so pretty. I love them a lot. My dress is from Simply Blue. Um, you've heard me talk about them before on my channel. This is actually the Madeline dress. I picked this out to be in their store and then my bralette is just from Maurice's I believe. I hope you enjoyed my little get ready with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload from me.